Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Erin Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to talk more on some sneaker stuff. I actually wanted to talk on, you know, being your own sneakerhead because I think I might have talked on this before. Um, if I, I felt I have a, like a good, like 90, there's a good 90% chance I've talked on this before. Um, but no, I, I just wanted to, uh, overall talk on it again, cause you know, there's people out there where they're like, you there, you might've just became a sneaker, hey, you might've just been recently getting into sneakers, and you need that, like, not so much as advice, but you just need that guidance on what type of sneaker, hey, you should be, and the thing is, is that you should be whatever sneaker, hey, you want to be. You know, there's people out there that want to get, like, only the retro Jordans. They only get retro Jordans, and they call it a day. That's not fun. You know, like, the thing is, is this. If I were to only get retro Jordans, I wouldn't even have, like, a good, like, 70, 80% of the shoes that I have. Probably not even that. Probably a good 90%. I don't have too many retro Jordans. You know, like, if it's if it is retro Jordans, it's Jordans that's, like, not so, not even so much as, like, because there's, all right, so to explain, like, retro Jordans, so there's, like, the retros that he actually played them back when he was, like, active in basketball, or at least, like, an, uh, a player in basketball, because now he's an owner, but, no, like, when he was um, a player, there was, like, the, the one shoes I always talk about that, um, like, a lot, the, uh, the Bread Elevens. I think when it was his, uh, cause he had like three different runs in the NBA. He had his first initial run, then he retired, played baseball for a little bit, came back, won a few, uh, three more championships. Then he retired again, came back, and there's these one, uh, gray Jordans, and I think everybody knows about those. I've talked on those before, um, the cool gray, uh, 11s and he played the nose so like there is that time frame and i think everybody they more so talk on like the the mike like chicago bulls like jordan that era of like um sneakers and they talk always and people always want to get those they want to get like the bread ones or the original ones or bread fours or uh like cement um threes uh what are some other jordans infrared sixes I'm trying to think of some other ones. And then, of course, like, you know, Concord 11, Bread 11, uh, Flu Game 12s. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did he, I don't even know if he had any 13s that stood out. Um, I think there was, like, some 14s that had stood out. But other than that, it was like, bro, I don't want just those Jordans. I want the shoes that I like. You know, like, for an example, there's a pair of shoes that I got coming in. It's the Jordan 2 tray, I think. And, uh, yeah, like, those shoes, like, if you look those up, there's this bread colorway color way that looks, like, I hadn't felt this way about a shoe, uh, since the Bread 11s. Like, I'm trying to think, like, what shoes was I, because I remember when I got the Cool Grays, I was like, I spent a lot of money on the Cool Grays, but it, it wasn't a shoe that, like, stood out to me. I was like, alright, cool, I got them, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, how I felt when I finally had purchased me a pair of Bread 11s. Like, I was happy, like, the thing, and that's the thing, because it's a shoe that I want. You know, if there are shoes out there, and there's been times where I've, um, where I've bought shoes, because I know I'm gonna make a YouTube video of them, or at least talk about them on my podcast, um, and I need to start doing that more often, talking about shoes on here. But, um, no, like, overall, I know I'm gonna, uh, wear the shoes, I guess, to inform people before they buy the shoe, like, okay, this is how this shoe feels, blah, 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 you know, um, you know, just overall informing people and letting people know, because... The thing is, is this, I've been in this situation, and that's another reason why um, I'll buy, like, if I buy a shoe, and it's not a particular shoe that I like, like, and you can tell, like, in some videos I've done, where it's like, sh I've bought in shoes, I'm like, you know, like, I got these, this is, like, the only colorway that's available, but it usually, sometimes, like, with those shoes, like, they do grow on me, like, there's been times where I've bought in shoes, didn't really like them at first, but then I found myself wearing them a lot. Actually, fun fact, um, there's an, uh, the Concord 11s. 
I didn't even like uh, um, Air Jordan 11s at first. I remember when I seen when I very first seen the Air Jordan 11s, I was like, these look like bowling shoes. These look like some high performance bowling shoes. And I'm like, and I do not see myself um, buying a pair of uh, 11s. Next thing you know, I remember I seen them in the store and I was like, and it, the funny thing is, I regretted buying those shoes so much, but I feel like it was one of those like good regrets. Like it's like only good things is gonna come out of this. And sure enough, it did. I wore those shoes all the time when I was uh, working in Seattle because those shoes. I think the the last time Concord Elevens had released was back in um, 2018. So I remember I was bruh. I was wearing those shoes when it was raining outside. I was wearing those shoes when just in almost every weather condition possible. Of course, like when it's sunny and things. Um, even when it was snowing outside one time I wore those shoes, but it's a shoe that I like, you know, it's like if shoes grow onto you, they grow onto you and stuff. And that's, you know, sometimes like with, uh, sneakers, like they'll do that. But, um, no, that's like getting back to what I was saying. It's like, you should always get a shoe that you're going to like, you know, you should never get a shoe or just never get a shoe because the crowd's getting that shoe. Or if a bunch of people come out and say, oh, that shoe is ugly. Nobody don't like those. All that stuff. Like, no, there's been times I've uh, talked with people and they're all like, oh, I don't like those types of shoes. I don't like those. Those are just, you know, my thing is this. I'm like, look, that's on you. I'm going to get the shoes that I like. You know, at the end of the day, I am using my money to uh, get these shoes and stuff. So, um, no, but like I said, like, no, there's been, uh, I, there's, it wasn't too long ago. I was chilling with one of my friends and uh, he was talking on like how he don't like Yeezys that much. And I'm like, bro, like, have you tried the Quantum uh, Yeezys? Or even, what was these uh, other ones I got? I think they were the 700s. Um, but no, it's like, bro, I freaking love... Uh, there are some Yeezys out there that I love. The Quantums, I do love the Quantums. Uh, these, I think they're the seven. Yeah, they're the 700s. Um, those are nice. I just recently... Uh, I also got me a pair of uh, the, the Yeezy 380s. Um, those are nice. Uh, what are the 350s? Those are chill too. I'm trying to think. Do I have any other pair? Of those those are the only pair of Yeezys I have. I have two pairs of Quantums. Cause no, there is. I wanted to. So the reason why I have two pairs of Quantums is because they had the um, casual edition, and then they had the uh, basketball edition. And the basketball edition. Here's a. Well, all right. So I think the reason why they came out with two different versions, and I'm like. The shoe is still the same. I don't think you guys fully understand. Like, cause so there's this back part of the shoe that's very reflective. And I guess they said that um like reflective shoes are banned in the um banned in the uh, NBA. And both of those shoes are like identical. I think I, I need to find that picture, but I had took a picture of those shoes like literally side by side. And that back part, that back um reflective part, it, it's literally the same thing. So I'm like, I don't know what Kanye was thinking about when he did that and stuff but yeah bro i'm like no them shoes it's 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 the same there ain't nothing different with those shoes but i like them though i like them i like both of the um pairs because that was like the one pair that i got was these gray pairs i don't really wear them as much outside anymore because i remember i wore them when it snowed outside and i dirt them up pretty badly so i'm like i kind of you know i'm like waiting i need to like i that's why honestly what i need to do i think next time i go to Foot Locker or not Foot Locker, but uh champs um, I'm gonna get some of the shoe cleaning stuff because I was like, yeah, that um, I feel like that's needed. You know, you definitely that's one thing about being a sneakerhead. It's like you definitely gonna have to make sure that you get some shoe cleaning stuff. And I think that's why some of the shoes I haven't really been wearing them a whole lot lately because I was like, yeah, I ain't got no shoe cleaners. I was like, they I had like these like wipes. You just kind of like go against the shoe and things. And uh, yeah, I was like, I need more of those. I just need like a whole cleaning supply of uh, um, for my shoes and stuff. Cause I was like, I got there are some where I'm like, they're somewhat dirty and things. But anyways, um, but no, like I don't. The thing is, like, I don't, it's not that I don't like retros. Getting back on that conversation, it's just that retros there there are at times where there are certain retro shoes that they look nice and I will 100% buy them. But there's at times where I've seen other shoes that are not retros where it's like a brand new colorway um, of uh, Jordans. And they stood out more because like that was like one of the first um, memories I have of me buying Jordans was that they had like a pair of like these retro royal ones and then they had these uh one mids now if i would have known of like you know like the differences between like retro 
uh, like um, uh, like the OG high tops and mids and low tops and all that stuff. I probably would have uh, gotten the um, the royal uh, blues because there's like yeah, they had like a pair of like the royal. Uh, well, like royal, I think that's like what blue is and like sneaker talk and stuff. So, anyways, regardless, but no, I seen a pair of royal ones, and then there's these paint splattered um royal ones, and those are like the first pair of like Jordans that I had bought for myself. Like, besides, like, the ones that my parents would buy me, like, those were, like, the ones I bought with my own money, money that I earned and stuff. So, anyways, um, bought them, didn't realize the history of the other shoes, and didn't realize how, like, big and, you know, bad those shoes were, like, comparing to the mids. Like, no, the, um, Royal Ones, like, in Sneaker Talk, yeah, Royal Ones are always gonna win because they're retros. Those are, like, the, um, they're not original pairs, but they are, you know, like, like, they're pretty high up there in the sneaker talking stuff. Like, they're, you know, they're called Royals for a reason. But anyways, um, no, but I like the, uh, the mids because those were, like, uh, they had, like, that paint splatter colorway. And I was like, I still got those shoes. And I still like how they look. Because I'm like, no, it's shoes that stood out. Like, me, I like shoes that stand out. I like shoes where... If people find them ugly, people find they, they just don't like them and they hate them. Like, those shoes, those shoes, the ones, the paint splattered ones, they were sitting on the shelves for a while. Even those um Royal Blues. They probably didn't even have them in my size now thinking about it. Because I'm like, no, like, usually, usually if you see a pair of Jordans, and especially a nice pair of Jordans too, it's always going to be like a size 7 or a size 8 or something. So if there's ever a time where you see a pair of Jordans and you're all like, hey, like, you know, T, real quick, are these like some, don't, actually, you know what, no, don't even do that. Because I feel like a lot of people, it's like, if I mean, if I know you, but it's like, or tweet me or something, but I feel like people, they get the message in you about stuff, and they be blowing up. I'm like, no, oh, I don't even do all that, all right? So, but anyways... Because, no, I was, like, I was talking on that not too long ago. It was, like, a, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk, that, that'll probably be, like, a separate episode and things. But it's, like, don't annoy your friends. <laughs> but, anyways, um, but, no, like, I, I like the, uh, the mids that I got. I was, like, I bought them over the, uh, because, so, the thing is with both of those shoes, so, they were pretty much, like, um, identical. The only thing, the only difference was that they were, um, one was mid tops, the other one were, uh, high tops. And there, but it was like the thing is though, like I honestly should like hold those shoes um, side by side with each other because mid tops and high tops, there isn't much of a difference. Like mid tops almost look like high tops. I think that there's like the back part of it, like where the ankle is at, it's kind of dipped down a little bit, but that's it. Like it's just like what a little extra material that's not added to the shoe. But um, anyways. No, but there's other time, or and then also the paint splatter too. So there was like it looked like somebody had kind of like just took their hand, dipped it in some like orange and red paint, and just kind of like flicked it all across the shoe. Saw that and was like, bruh, I like that was that was like those are the first pair of Jordans I ever bought, and I was like, man, like no, I I like this. I'm like this, this feels nice. This feels you know comfortable. I'm like finally getting me a pair of shoes where I'm like it ain't shoes because see the thing is is like I you know like growing up i never was really in the shoes and then it's like the time progressed on it was like you know you're making your own money you might have like some extra you know few dollars sitting around and then it's like oh okay find yourself in a foot locker or a champs and you're like all right i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these shoes real quick so but um yeah it's like you know the thing is is like that's you know what about like being your own sneaker head is that you get the shoes that you like you don't get the shoes that other people like because no that's that's the one thing about uh getting the shoes that you like people you'll be walking out in public because no there were these um uh like florida based uh air jordan ones that came out a while back and I remember I bought them. I was like, no, those shoes look nice. I like those. And so I think there was like the South Beach uh, Ones, I think that's what they call them. Or like South Beach One Mids or something like that. But anyways, so was wearing them. I was, uh, I think I was walking to the bus stop. I was walking. I was, I remember I was in Seattle. But anyways, walking down the street. I kid you not. Homie had stopped me. Okay. He had stopped me. He put his hand out and he said, pause wait a minute he was this guy he literally started complimenting my shoes in the most aggressive way and that's the thing where it's like aggressive compliments are the best compliments of like something that comes like because you know it's a compliment that comes from the heart this dude literally looked me dead in my face and he was all like i ain't gonna say because you know ex like because kids can be listening but he did say some explicit words but he was like them mfs are nice and i'm like 
I I appreciate that. I appreciate it. He's like asking me where like where did I get them? I'm sitting here giving him a whole tour guide of like Washington State on where to get these shoes and stuff. But um no nah, man, it's like it's stuff like that. Or what was the one pair of shoes was I wearing? I can't remember if it was these Vapor Max or they, um if it was the Air Max 270s. But uh, no, I think it might have been the Air Max 270s. No, I think it was the Air Max 270s because um no, there was uh the guy that was um that complimented me. He was wearing a pair of Vapor Maxes, and I remember I think it was that next day I went and got me a pair of Vapor Maxes and stuff. Cause like no, I was I think I was looking at them and I didn't get them, and I ended up getting uh the Air Max 270s because those shoes had just came out. So um anyways, and it's it's crazy to see how many people are wearing those shoes. That Air Max. If you guys look up Air Max 270s, I I promise issue you have seen at least five people in just a 24 if you go out in public all right go to a mall go to a mall i guarantee you're going to see at least three to five people wearing a pair of air max 270s all right go to your local mall and just look okay look up air max 270s get a good idea and it's probably going to be either like the all the black and white ones or the uh, all red ones. Those are like the two ones that I kept seeing back and forth and things. I'm like, man, like everybody loves those shoes and stuff. So, but anyways, um, no, I just, um, I remember I was wearing those shoes. This guy is on the phone walking down the street. He literally put his conversation. He didn't put, like say like, oh, hold on for a second. No, he probably halfway through that person's sentence, he put his phone on his shoulder, looked at me and said, those shoes are nice. And I'm like, bro, people are literally stopping phone conversations to come I, then there was another time i think what shoes was i wearing i think i was wearing my utility air forces it was like these like green uh air forces and i this guy was on his bike he looked at me or he's on his bike riding it down the street this guy like points at my shoes he's pointing at my shoes and gave me a thumbs up and i'm like i got even like vehicular compliments and stuff like <laughs> like it's i'm telling you get the shoes that you like because let's say like you know people are going to still compliment you if you have like a pair of like retro jordans but it's like it's going to be a conversation that you're expecting you're like oh wow you got like a pair of the like the uh bread 11s or you got a pair of those shoes or you got a pair but it's like everybody's gonna have a pair of those shoes you know or i mean like if they don't but it's like they're gonna at least know what those shoes are because they either seen jordan play in them or they know about the hype with those shoes but to get like you you know to have like a pair of shoes that like jordan has even worn them he probably hasn't even seen them with all the different colorways that that man got coming out with different shoes he probably hadn't even seen them but anyways um if he did he i feel like i'll say that then they're like then all of a sudden you'll see some posts all like jordan has worn every pair of jordans that's ever existed you know like so but anyways but no, it's like, it's always, it's dope getting a compliment from a shoe that nobody don't know about. So like, yeah, with those South Beach ones or the Air Max 270s, because the Air Max 270s had just came out when that dude had complimented them. So he might not have that. Oh, and then there was the one, uh, the Air... So there was like the Air Max 97 like Vapor Max. So they came out with like a collaboration shoe. And so the upper was like an Air Max 97. And then the bottom had that Vapor Max part. I remember I was in Starbucks. I was waiting for them to make me a, um, a double smoked bacon sandwich. And I seen this lady in the corner of my eye just staring at me. And I'm kind of looking at her. I'm like, okay, that's weird. I'm like, I, you know, it's like I'm, I'm in Seattle. So I'm like, there are a lot of weird people around and stuff. But so anyways... I go, I think I took my headphones off and I was just looking. I was just like, hi. I'm like, you know, it's like, what, what what's the issue? I'm like, what what did I do? Like, because I'm like, I highly doubt she knew me from somewhere. I'm like, not even to sound rude, but it's like she she looked older than me. So I'm like, I highly doubt you was a teacher. Because she don't look like she was like old enough to be a teacher, but she didn't look young enough to be like somebody that I went to school with. Like she was like right in that like mid range. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe she like, maybe she seen me somewhere. I'm like, I highly doubt she knows me from YouTube. And th that would have been honestly a crazy conversation. She's like, aren't you T Moss? I'm like, I don't even know how I would have responded to that. I'm like, it would have been dope, but no. But anyway, she was checking out my shoes. And then she, I, I kid you not, she asked me, can you like 
Like, with, I don't think, did she ask me to, like, pose my, I don't think she asked me to pose my, no, but she did ask for a picture. She was like, can I take a picture of your shoe real quick? I literally had to stick my foot out so she can take a picture of my shoe. And I'm like, wow. Like, I, and I'm, the, it probably still to this day, that woman's all like, man. Like, because I think, I think that's what it was. She was all like, um, I think her husband was really in the shoes. So, I, um, so she was like, she wanted to, like, take a picture of them and send it to him and stuff or show him or whatever and things. And I'm like, it's it's honestly like I'm like I'm telling you guys like being a sneakerhead, it has its benefits. It it really has its benefits because I'm like you know you're you're getting compliments left and right. I had somebody I was in the store and a guy like walked up from behind me and it was the um it was these pine green uh ones, but it was like this like it was like a black and green because they got like two pairs of pine green um uh, ones. So he got like these um white green and black ones, and then they got like the black and uh well actually I think those ones got white on them too, but it's the midsole part that has white on them. But it's like the upper part of it is green and black, and then the mid part, midsole is white, and then the bottom is, is it green? I think it's green. It might, I think it's, is it green? I gotta look at those shoes again. I honestly don't remember, but let's see, that's how, it, like, that, I feel like that's a flaw. Like, you have, when you have so many shoes, you tend to forget what the shoes that you've had and what colors or where the colors were at or how they looked and things. Because there's been times where I've pulled out shoes, I'm like, how those shoes look again? Hold on, let me see real quick. And then, and then on top of that, shoes, shoes, like, they, bruh, I'm telling you, like, they, they are pricey, they, they are extremely, pricey. especially if you go on a reselling website or a reselling store, oh, I try to avoid that, I, I'm trying to think, I went, uh, last time I went to a reselling, yeah, it was to get these, um, uh, these reflective, uh, Air Jordan 5s. And I remember, uh, oh, then the reflective shoes. Oh, my, like, I don't know how many people said, like, the shoes was bright. I actually made a co-worker, I kid you not, I made a co-worker at my old job hit his head on the locker because he was so distracted by my shoes. And I'm like, homie, you good? Like, dang, I was like, I didn't realize the shoes are that much of a distraction. So, I'm trying to think, was that like, I think that was like one of the last, no, actually, I'd say, no, I, I remember I wore those shoes again um, one time uh, after, because that was like after, um, you know, the pandemic had started, and I remember wearing those shoes again, so... Yeah, man, you know, shoes, shoes are nice at times, and then, uh, but it's like, overall, at the end of the day, it's like, it's all about being your own sneakerhead, it's like, don't listen to the hype of other people and what they say, if you want to get you a pair of, like, um, Nikes at Famous um, Footwear or something, Go if you if it's what you want to get if it's what you like do that if you want to get the shoe that's been sitting on the shelf for like you know freaking months get them shoes if you want to get uh because it was like just recently I got these two pairs of Adidas and um both of those Adidas it was it's like they call them like Adidas top ten uh high. And they're, um, it's like for high top and things, but no, they look like, honestly, they're like the most retro looking shoe, but they are the most cleanest looking shoe ever. Like I got like a pair that's like white and black, and then I got another pair that's, um, red and black. And I'm like, both of those shoes are so nice looking, but anyways, but no, it's like, it's all, that's what it's always um about. It's like getting what you like, you get what you like. I don't see how you possibly can fail with, uh, you know, being a sneakerhead and stuff. So, anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBOSS. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMOSBOSS fan page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It went off $20 off your first purchase. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and peace.